Geek Vision. Next up on Geek Vision's court mandated minimal budget educational programming, it's Gary Stu 101 with your host, Arthur Knowledge. Hey guys, I'm Arthur Knowledge, and welcome to Gary Stu 101, the show where I teach you everything you need to know to star in your own fanfic. Or if you're unlucky, someone else's. Today, for our first ever topic, we have So You Found Out You're the Chosen One. Contrary to popular belief, there's actually lots of chosen ones. If you add in multidimensional quantum doohickey theories, you actually have an infinite number of chosen ones. Though I'm still the best chosen one. If you say otherwise, I will hurt you. I will hurt you until you die. Until you die a dying death of dying. Anyways, if you found out you're the chosen one, it's likely through some ancient prophecy, some wandering old sage came by to talk to you. Or if you're like me, you found out because there's narration that won't stop. And so it came to be that Arthur Knowledge- Shut up! Regardless, now you know you're some dude or dudette destined to do some epic thing of epicness. So, here's a few things to keep in mind to make sure your life goes smoothly from now on. First, research everything you can about why you're the Chosen One and what you're supposed to accomplish. The more you know about your destiny or prophecy or family vengeance, whatever, the easier your life will be. Look for your answers in ancient libraries. Seek out wise wandering old men and or women. Or even just look it up on the internet. Insider secret? Wikipedia's made this much easier. Trust me. After that, Learn to defend yourself. The thing is, as a chosen one, you're going to get attacked a lot by evil armies and monsters and supervillains and all other kinds of messiness. Surprisingly, the worst of the fans. They can pose a giant threat if you're not really careful with your boundaries. <laughs> so, naturally, learn to fight. Have a wizard teach you magic, or have some woodsman teach you the ways of the bow. But definitely learn physical combat as well. Seek out an ancient temple where you can learn a secret martial art technique, only known by a few people, where you can have a mighty warrior teach you the ways of the sword, or the axe, or something. Seriously guys, something. Myself? I'm partial to meta magic. Combine powerful jabs with the zen of self-awareness. Make the cliches your weapon. <laughs> so, now you know what you'll be dealing with. And on top of that, you know how to defend yourself. That just leaves one part. Enjoy the hell out of it. Come on, you're a chosen one. You have access to powers most people would never even dream of having. And on top of that, you get to go on adventures and experience things most people never will. If you want my opinion, being a chosen one is a great segue into becoming emperor or the leader of your own order, like me. Wink, wink. Basically, if you found out you're a chosen one and you follow my advice, your life is about to get amazing. And hey, you might not know if you're a chosen one. Check out your local archives. You might find something about you in a prophecy. Disclaimer. Arthur Knowledge is not responsible for any bruised egos or broken dreams as a result of finding out you are most likely not a chosen one. And that's what you need to know when you found out you're the chosen one. I'm Arthur Knowledge, and join me next time on Gary Stew 101. Class dismissed! Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more shenanigans. If you have a topic you want me to tackle, let me know in the comments. Or you can magically transmit them to my social media stuff on Facebook and Twitter. Well, I've got to go rescue a prince from a tower or something. Later!